friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. In this video we are going to watch fecal vacation by stop and chop technique and hybrid IA in two instances. This is the first case. By this time the main incision has been made and now this is a side port on the left side of the main incision. And now an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber and the anterior capsule of this cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis is stained with tripan blue dye. I could do this rexis without staining but for a better visibility I am using the tripan blue dye. The dye is washed out nicely using BSS or a ring lactate and then the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now rexis. A uterata forceps is taken, the anticapsule is torn at the center capsular tag is raised, this capsular tag is guided all around and in this case an oval rex is was done. Hydrodissection is done with 27 Gauss cannula and BSS, the nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is rotated. The antechamber is filled up again with 2% hypromelos. And now watch stop and chop technique of FECO surgery. At this time the vacuum is between 50 and 100, fluoride is between 20 and 30, ultrasonic energy is according to the hardness of the nucleus. And now sculpting is started from just in front of the main wound and it goes towards the opposite equator. The trench is deepened at the center and sculpted just under the rexis margin, rotated on 180 degree and sculpted on the other side and the nucleus is divided into two halves. And now I go to FECO 2 mode where the vacuum is higher about 400 and flow rate is 40. The heminuclei are chopped into pieces and the pieces are emulsified. Ultrasonic energy used is 60% in continuous mode. Most of this time 60% ultrasonic energy is not used. Use of ultrasonic energy is controlled by foot switch. This is the last portion of the nucleus and it is emulsified safely. And now a little bit of visco is injected and most of the cortex can be removed through the main wound by a Simco cannula. This is a 23 gauze Simco. We can use through the main wound a 22 gauze Simco also and all the cortex except the sub incisional cortex, sub main incision cortex is easily removed by the Simco cannula. And now the wound is, the side port is small and the Simco does not go through the side port. In such cases what we can do is or we can make a small side port and do this hybrid IA. The aspirating port has been covered by a cap, this blue cap. 
this is also we can use the uh, cap which is used to cover the viscoat from Elcon. And this is totally easy tip. And now we are using the irrigation from the handpiece and aspiration is another cannula is being used for aspiration. So, this is hybrid IA, we are using the main wound for irrigation and an aspirating cannula is used to aspirate the cortex, sub main incision cortex. We can remove most of the cortex by Simco, but we can use, we can remove the cortex also by whole cortex can be removed by hybrid IA. But it is better to use combination of Simco and this hybrid IA. By the time you use Simco, your assistant is ready with the hybrid IA. He, she needs, he or she needs some time to cap the aspirating port and get the get ready with hybrid irrigation aspiration. And by the, in this case, the IOL was in the sulcus, we have placed it in the bag and the case is nicely done. And now, this is a bit of moxifloxacin. The side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma. And then a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done with BSS, balanced salt solution. This is the final lavage and after the final lavage, the anterior chamber is formed nicely and the case is concluded. Let us observe stop and chop technique and hybrid IA in another patient. Nucleus sclerosis in this case is about grade 2. This is capsulorexis, the anti capsule has been stained with tripe and blue dye. In this case, the main wound and only one side port, one small side port has been made. And this is a rexis of about 5 millimeter. Hydrodissection is done. The fluid wave is seen going towards the opposite side and the nucleus is tapped and rotated nicely. Visco is used to fill up the anterior chamber again and now we are going to divide the nucleus by stop and chop technique. In stop and chop technique, we make only one trench, divide the nucleus into two heminuclei and each heminuclei, each heminucleus is chopped into pieces. This is how we make the trench. In soft cataracts, we need not we need not widen the trench. It can be just one tip width. It should be deep at the central part, and peripheral part need not be very deep. The nucleus has been divided into two heminuclei. Each heminucleus is now being chopped with higher vacuum and the pieces are emulsified. Sculpting is done with low vacuum, low flow rate and 
chopping and emulsification is carried out with higher vacuum and higher flow rate. In this case, I could not rotate the this semi nucleus, so I came out and now I placed it in such a way that I can easily catch this hemi nucleus and chop it. So, here goes the FECO needle again and I hold this semi nucleus and chop it into pieces and the pieces are emulsified. Ultrasonic energy used in this case is 50 percent, flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. So, nucleus and epinucleus has been nicely managed and now some visco has been injected into the anterior chamber and a Simcoe cannula, this is a 23 gauze Simcoe. The Simcoe cannula is being used to remove the cortex, most of the cortex except the sub incisional cortex. The side port is small and the Simco will not go through the side port. So, we can do hybrid IA again. The aspirating, aspirating port is capped, aspiration is through the side port by this aspirating cannula, irrigation is by the FECO handpiece and the sub incisional cortex is easily aspirated and hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens is done. This is a hydrophobic lens and the lens easily went into the capsular bag. And now to check whether it is in the capsular bag or not, we can do this. We can take a Sinsky hook in our right hand and try to hook the rexus margin just opposite the haptic, just over the haptic. If we can hook the rexus margin, it means the haptics are in the capsular bag. And now the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma. A final lavage of the anterior chamber is done. The anterior chamber is formed very nicely. Integrity of all the wounds are checked. Few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in understanding hybrid irrigation aspiration and you can manage in all cases with only on side port, on small side port with this technique. Irrigation is through the main wound by the FECO handpiece, the aspirating port is closed by a cap. The aspirating tube is connected to an aspirating cannula and the aspirating cannula is used through the side port. Hope this will inspire you to use this technique, this hybrid IA and the stop and chop technique of FECO emulsification.